Hi everyone, welcome to the session. In this session, I am continuing the problems related to permutations and combinations. Uh, in the last session, we already discussed a uh, few problems related to permutations and combinations. Uh, now let's see the first question in this session. See here, a box contains four red, three white and uh, two blue balls. Uh, in a box, there are four red balls and next uh, three white balls and next two blue balls and uh, three balls are drawn at random we need to draw how many balls three balls now the question what he is asking is find out the number of ways in which uh, the selecting of balls of different colors here total we need to draw three balls total we need to draw how many balls three balls out of total four plus three seven seven plus two nine total will be having nine balls out of nine balls we need to select uh, three balls uh, but there is a condition that uh, all the three balls are of uh, different colors uh, it means uh, we need to select one red ball one white ball and uh, one blue ball so that it is possible to select uh, three balls and uh, those three balls from different uh, colors one is red one is white and one is uh, blue Total we are having four red balls. Out of that we are selecting only one red ball. It is possible in 4C1 ways. And similarly total will be having three white balls. Out of that we are selecting one white ball. It is possible in 3C1 ways. Similarly blue is also same thing. Total two blue balls are there. We are selecting only one out of that. It is possible in 2C1 ways. Now you can multiply all these values. Why? Because uh, our task is to select uh, three balls. Our task is to select uh, three balls. Uh, so till then you need to multiply all the values. Uh, here 4C1, 4, 3C1, 3, 2C1, 2, 4 into 3 into 2, which is equal to how much it is? 4, 3 is a 12, 12 into 2, 24. Total 24 ways are there in which uh, the condition is all the three balls uh, are from different uh, colors. Uh, total 24 ways. That is the required answer for this question. I hope you understand. Let's see the next question. A committee of five persons. A committee of five persons is to be formed from six men and uh, four women. Total six men are there and uh, four women are there total total six men and four women are there and we need to form a committee which consisting of five persons we need to form a committee which consisting of five persons it means out of uh, 10 members we need to select uh, five members now the condition which is given us in how many ways can this be done with at least uh, two men with at least two women are included at least means at least you must know the meaning of at least at least means minimum at least two women it means minimum two women minimum two women is it clear and uh, maximum how can uh, how many women you can able to take that is four women why because maximum will be having only four women here there are several possibilities uh, for this question here i can select two men and total i want to select uh, five members committee and remaining three are from men two women and three men and i can also select three women why because uh, minimum i need to select uh, two men minimum is two men maximum i can able to select uh, four women also so Three women is possible, four women is also possible. Here, if there are three women, number of men are two only. Why? Because total five persons committee. And next, if there are four women, only one man is there. Only one man. Now, if you see, total six men are there and we are selecting only three out of six. It is possible in 63 ways. And here I am selecting two men out of six. It is possible 62 ways. 
here i am selecting only one man out of six six c one ways and here if you see total four women are there out of that we are selecting only two men it is possible in 4c2 ways and next one is 4c3 ways and next one is 4c4 ways here you can multiply these two you can multiply these two you can multiply these two after that you can add all the values here if you observe carefully 6c3 value what is 6c3 value 6 into 5 into 4 divided by 3 factorial what is meant by 3 factorial again 6 6 6 gets cancelled so this value becomes 20 and next uh, 6c2 6c2 is nothing but 6 into 5 divided by 2 into 1 here it is uh, 2 3 0 3 into 5 15 15 this value is 15 6c1 is equal to 6 6c1 is equal to 6 and next uh, 4c2 4c2 means uh, 4 into 3 divided by 2 factorial 2 factorial value is 2 only and uh, 2 3 is a 6 this is equal to 6 and next 4c3 4c3 is equal to 4 4c4 is equal to 1 right now you can multiply these values 20 into 6 120 and next one 15 into 4 60 and the last one 6 into 1 6 now after multiplication you need to add all the possibilities okay 120 plus 60 180 180 plus 6 186 therefore total number of ways in which at least two men are should be there in the committee out of total five members committee at least two men the condition is at least two men at least in the sense minimum and one more word at most at most indicates maximum at least indicates minimum at most indicates maximum you need to be very much careful about uh, these two points is it clear here the answer for this question is uh, 186 ways that is the required answer let's move on to the next question see here from five boys and seven girls here five boys are there and uh, seven girls are there from five boys and seven girls uh, in how many ways can 6 be chosen? In how many ways can 6 be chosen to include at least one boy? To include at least one boy. Here we need to select 6 members. Here we need to select 6 members. In that 6 members, the condition which is given as at least one boy. At least one boy in the sense I can select one boy or two boys or three boys four boys and also maximum i can able to select five boys why because uh, we are having total five boys uh, at least one boy indicates uh, minimum minimum one boy minimum one boy so if there are one boy and number of girls are obviously five why because total we need to select uh, six members uh, and if there are two boys, four girls should be there. If there are three boys, three girls should be there. Why? Because total is always uh, six members. And next, four girls, four boys and uh, two girls, five boys and uh, one girl. These are the total different possible ways. Uh, now you can uh, calculate one by one. See, here I am selecting one by out of five. It is possible in 5c1 ways. Here I am selecting two boys out of 5. 5c2. Here it is 5c3. Here it is 5c4. 5c5. Now if you see the second uh, column, total 7 girls are there. Out of that I am selecting 5, which is nothing but 7c5. And next 7c4. And next 7c3, 7c2, 7c1. Now you can multiply all these uh, five values individually and then you can add all the values. First calculate all the values individually. 5c1, 5c1 is nothing but 5. 5c2, 5 into 4, 20 divided by 2 which is nothing but 10. 
and next 5c2 value and 5c3 value both are same why because uh, ncr is equal to ncn minus r according to this condition 5c2 is equal to 5c3 and next 5c4 is equal to 5 5c5 which is equal to 1 now you can calculate these values 7c5 7c5 is equal to 7 into 6 divided by 7c5 value and 7c2 value both are same why because ncr is equal to nc n minus r 7 into 6 divided by 2 into 1 which is uh, 7 3 is 21 this value is 21 and 7 c 2 is also 21 7 c 4 and 7 c 3 both are same 7 into 6 into 5 divided by 3 factorial that is 6 7 5 is 35 this value is 35 this value is also 35 and next last one is 7 c 1 which is equal to 7 now you can multiply each and every value you will get the answer 21 into 5 1 not 5 second one 35 into 10 350 35 into 10 again 350 next 21 into 5 1 not 5 and the last one is 7 into 1 7 now once the individual calculation is done after that you need to add all the values 5 plus 5 10 17 next 5 plus 5 10 10 plus 1 11 next uh, 3 plus 3 6 6 plus 3 9 9 1 7 9 1 7 is the right answer for this question 9 1 7 3 plus 3 6 6 plus uh, 3 1 2 3 9 9 1 7 9 1 7 is the required answer for this question guys i hope you enjoy the session thank you thank you very much for watching